Hi, I'm the Ryan Haradal from Team 13. I'll be presenting along with Joseph Villamore and Arvin Parson on the Twiel, the new tire. Car manufacturers have been trying to increase efficiency in a car for since the car has been invented. They've been, tried different ways, including m messing with the electrical system, the mechanical system, the suspension, but they've never actually reinvented the tire. So far, the only thing that they've done with the tire is change the tread patterns for different terrains that they will be crossing. But the main problem still arises with the air. When the tire is in motion, air leaks out. When air leaks out of the tire, it becomes deflated and the temperature increases more and more and more. With this temperature increase, the tread tends to burn out more, fuel efficiency is decreased, and the overall efficiency of the car tremendously drops. Alright, I'm Joseph Hamor and I'll be discussing uh, some of the designs, advantages and disadvantages of its wheel wheel. Basically, the uh, uh, design that Michelin came up with for this wheel is having an airless design wheel uh, with a solid inner uh, hub which is mounted directly in the center here. Then that is directly connected to the axle of the uh, vehicle, whether it be a car or truck or anything like that. Now, that's uh, what is surrounding the actual inside of this wheel is inside the, uh, the solid inner hub and then you have the actual polyurethane spokes and these are the things that are actually acting as uh, if it were an air cushion. These polyurethane spokes are able to be compressed and that way it uh, absorbs all the shock in it. Surrounding the polyurethane spokes you have the shear band and on that shear band you also have the tread on the outermost layer. Now on this shear band here it actually deforms along with, this, along with the flexible spokes. That way you actually can deform the wheel even if you're going over uh, different types of terrains or rocks or anything like that. Um, we'll be talking about some of the advantages uh, with the twin wheel. Basically, the first the main advantage is that it's airless design. That way it eliminates all types of blowouts or any type of problem with air pressure and um, also uh, any types of like nails and routine maintenance that you have to get re uh, to rebuild a rubber tire. You don't have to do that on a twill because it's all integrated into one system and uses that sheer band for the tread rather than having the rubber tread on it. Another advantage on it is the flexible spokes. Like I said before, it absorbs all the shocks on it. And these flexible spokes are recreated in the solar works model here. And then you have the innermost layer, um, which is the steel hub here, that also is also flexible. Yeah. The last advantage of the tool wheel is the dimensional stiffness. It's basically a lateral um, stiffness and a vertical stiffness that helps it, the lateral stiffness helps in the actual traction and actual turning and cornering of the wheels, and the uh, vertical stiff stiffness helps in um, the sort of the cushion, and that way you can actually absorb the shock better. With this twill wheel, these uh, dimensional stiffnesses are separate, they're independent of each other, where in normal basic wheel designs, they're you're always compromising one or the other. If it's a softer wheel, it's going to have a lot more grip, but if every time it hits a bump, you're going to bounce around, and vice versa. If you have a really, if you have vertical stiffness really tight, then you're not going to have any traction in your slide around. With the wheel, you'll be able to do both, and Michelin is absolutely doing stuff now to optimize this. Uh, next is going to be the disadvantages. And basically, the main disadvantage of the wheel wheel is the vibration during the speed cut that's causing uh, the loud noise and the heat. Basically when uh, you hit 50, over 50 miles per hour on its wheels, um, it gets really, really loud with the air going through all those little spokes there. And it also, um, Michelin ha engineers have also discovered that it actually heats up a lot on the spokes and inside the wheel itself when you're going at that speed for a long distance. The other uh, Disadvantage is the drastic change in the tire industry. If you, you actually wanted to further uh, mass produce the twill wheels, they're mass produced in they're produced in a different way than the original tires, and so a lot of industries would have to change their entire process, and all their factories would have to change up as well. Now I'm going to pass it over to Arvin, who's going to be talking about the tire history. Thank you. Now a tire is basically a wheel. So we will begin with the history of the wheel. The wheel was invented in about 
3,500 BC, and it was made primarily of stone, as you can see here. Then as time went on, people began to make the wheel out of wood. Now, that had some issues with cushioning, leading to um, a rough ride, so then people began to cover that piece of wood with leather, which offered a smoother ride. Then as time went on, people um, got more innovative. Here you see a major development. See, tires were never really originally made out of rubber because of issues with rubber. Inherently, due to rubber's um, uh, material properties along various temperature ranges, in a cold range, rubber will become very rigid, but at a hot temperature, rubber will become very sticky, and this created problems. Then, in 1839, Charles Goodyear invented vulcanized rubber. Now this was a major accomplishment, and this created rubber that is stronger, load resistant, uh, abrasion resistant, but unfortunately this invention was a bit ahead of its time and it was slow to be adopted. Now we see the pneumatic tire. So before, Goodyear's tire was made out of pure rubber. Then, in 1845, Robert William Thompson invented the pneumatic tire, which is an air inflated tire. Basically, he used an inner canvas tube, which was covered with leather, and he inflated the inner canvas tube. This was slowly be adopted, but luckily, due to the widespread use of bikes, um, people began to use uh, pneumatic tires in bicycles. Then in 1895, Andre Michelin is the first to use the pneumatic tire in an automobile. This is a major accomplishment and leads towards the next segment in history. Here we see the radial tire. In 1946, the Michelin Company produced the first radial tire. The key of the radial tire is that it has a core that is 90 degrees from the center of the rim. Now, this leads to increased tread life, improved steering, decreased rolling resistance, better gas mileage overall. Now here we see the Twiel. Now the Twiel is an amazing product. For years as engineers, we were always taught, don't reinvent the wheel. This leads to a subjugated mindset, whereby engineers are indoctrinated into this false mentality, where they're supposed to just accept socially accepted products. They're supposed to just, instead of thinking from the ground up, they basically look at what is already available on the market and benchmark and reverse engineer. This lacks, com this lacks creativity completely. Engineers copy material, manufacturing processes, design, and really offer very little ingenuity and engineering at the end of the day. Now Michelin was brave enough to challenge the age-old adage of not reinventing the wheel, and they chose to reinvent the wheel. Now the term twheel basically comes from tire plus wheel together, that term. Those two words lead to the term twheel. Now, one of the interesting about the things about the twheel is that Michelin claims that it will reduce fuel economy by a total of 1%. And now I will hand over to Narayan Haryal. The twheel has many applications that are just based on anything with wheels. As can see, we have the iBot mobility device, which is just a basic mobility device with, that can use the twheel. The Segway Concept Senator also uses the twheel as an application. The twheel has won awards over the years from 2006 the Internet Award, the Golden Medal for its innovation, judged fifth in criteria on technical design and technologies, economy, quality of work, ease of use, environmental friendliness. Other applications include low-speed vehicles, such as caterpillar, caterpillar construction vehicles, because it's able to go over the ruggedness of rough terrain. Additional applications include NASA, where it, we can go to the moon because of low, low temperatures where uh, rubber will crack. Um, this twheel is airless, and it will be able to go over areas such like that, new, like the new lunar, lunar rover, the ruggedness, it can go over the ruggedness on rough terrain, it can with, withstand a vacuum of space and cold surface temperature. Future applications include many military um, 
vehicles such as uh, the rovers and aviation uh, tires on planes. And that is the end for this wheel. Thank you.